What the hell are you thinking? Derek, how the fuck did he get into the press conference? You supposed to handle shit like that. You supposed to watch my fucking back. Things happen out there, Rashad. What are you gonna do? Fire me? You can't. I know too much about you. No. I ain't gonna fire your bitch ass. <laughs> I have a funeral to attend, so we'll be working late tonight. The governor's race is a national stage. Playtime is over. Man, the fuck up. Who's there? Councilman Tate. Hey. Chris, what are you doing back here? I just came back for this. Forgot I stored all my contacts on it. Technically, that's property of the campaign, including everything that's on it. Right. I know. That's why I'm gonna just download everything and, and put it back. I mean, you don't have any use for it anymore, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Either way, um, you've done some really great work for me, and you do deserve a nice parting gift, so... Thank you, Councilman. I really appreciate you understanding everything that I did. Hey, get this old bitch ass hey, out of here. What the hell, man? Would you want another one? Huh, because I won't miss. Go, right now. What do you want, Andre? I'm just here to help, bro. As you can see, I'm doing really, really great. Thank you. Look, I got some valuable information on the St. Patrick's. Tariq, what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, you need to talk. Talk? Nigga, this ain't the breakfast club. You know where you are right now? Look, I need some of your connections. Child services got my sister, and I need you to get someone over there to speak to me. Yeah, I can. But what will you do for me, Tariq? Hmm? I'm gonna need a little quid from you before I can quote. Talk to me. You mentioned that you know one of the Westons, right? Yes, Braden Weston is my roommate. How well does he know Rick Sweeney? That fucking cocksucker. Oh, I love when we're on the same side of a question. Can you use your relationship with this Brayton to give me some information on Sweeney? He has something that belongs to me. What's that? A congressional seat. Now, if you get something from me that cancels him out of office, then I can get you your sister. How the fuck do you expect me to do that? Don't sell yourself so short, young brother. We both know what you're capable of. All right. Just give me a little time to figure that shit out. But I need my sister now. I can help you now. On credit. But you gotta get me back. With interest. Are we clear? Yeah, I got you. Now get the hell out of here before these boys sober up enough to rush your black ass. Go on, kick rocks, little nigga. Ah, thanks for coming by, nephew. Love you. <laughs> hey, where's my drink? <laughs> I, I can't let you leak a photo of my dad with a guy in blackface. Yes. Blackface. It's from some Halloween party. Sweeney was dressed up as OJ, you know, doing the Heisman with the bloody knife. He even had dead Nicole in the headlock. Incredible. But what do they say around here? Pick so it didn't happen? What's up? I could definitely get you that pick. I just need to be sure of one thing. What's that? The Westons, they... they can't get dragged into this. Why would they? Well, Braden's father, he's in the picture as Nicole, and... I told Braden... Yo, fuck what you told your little punk-ass friend. You're on trial for murder, Tariq. All right? And even if you get acquitted, I'm your only hope of you getting your sister back. So you know what? I need that photo before Sweeney's filing day for re-election. Do we have an understanding here? Am I still wasting my time fucking with you, boy? You know, the funny thing is, I knew your goofy ass would end up here one day. I really wouldn't be surprised if your crooked ass ended up in here, too. I still haven't received any dirt on Sweeney yet, so what the hell we need to talk about, huh? Listen, you can sit there and watch me rot in this motherfucker and not get your Sweeney dirt, or you can help me get bail. When I get out, my priority will be getting you what you need. Nigga, I've been waiting for that the whole time. What the fuck you think I'm doing at that school, huh? You never delivered. Listen, I went on a family trip with the Westons. Sweeney was there. He brought up his old college frat glory bullshit. Saw his secret photo album. A whole lot of weird, inappropriate shit that'd get an elected official in the headlines for all the wrong reasons. I know exactly where it is, so you help me get up out of here, and I'll help you get your hands on that. 
But listen here. If you get out and underserved after making this huge ass promise, I promise I will make your life a living fucking hell. You cop killer. We're not working with Tariq anymore. I'm starting to realize, Tariq, that you don't actually think through anything. Maybe Jenny Sullivan is right and you should be off the streets. Your trial starts at what, uh, 2 p.m. today? It ain't looking too good. And I'm looking forward to testifying. I gave you what you asked for. You gave me hearsay. I need fucking proof. All right. You want proof, I'll get it to you. Don't be late to court. It's me. About damn time. You know how many nervous shits I had to breathe through in here? <clears throat> okay, where is it? Come on, hurry up. Once you have it, what are you going to say on the stand? Motherfucker, all you need to know is that if I don't have it, I would destroy you on the stand, off the stand, any and every place I can. Quit fucking playing with me, boy. Robert Weston Jr. Rashad Tate, it's a pleasure. Councilman, <laughs> I saw they brought you in here. Well, well, you know, a smart next step after missing the governor's match. Yes, well, there's certainly more than one way to serve the community. <laughs> hey, listen, I want to give you a heads up about a uh, photo that's going to come out of Rick Sweeney. Excuse me? Rick and I go way back. Exactly. That's why I wanted to make mention of this, because it could blow back on you, too. Now, on the other hand, if you uh, can help convince your old buddy to step down, we might be able to avoid this whole thing entirely. And, of course, I'll be more than happy to uh, honor any kickbacks that are currently in place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take black men lightly. All right. Only black face. Guilty as charged. <clears throat> okay, Stephen, I mean, come on, you're not caving into this BLM bullshit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is ancient history. It's a fucking Halloween party. Blackface leaves black mark as disgraced congressman vacates office. A headline like that certainly goes viral. Well, and you're okay with this, Stephen? No, but I'd like to avoid that headline. Bullshit. I mean, surely you can't just. Yeah, you just go easy on the bronzer, you know, for the cameras. You smug, arrogant nigga. Hmm. That's about to take your fucking job. Go ahead. Publish the photo. In six months, the public will have forgotten about this nonsense all on their own. I wouldn't say that. But perhaps <clears throat> after six months and some much needed time off, you decide to uh, run for Senate. With the backing of a solid freshman congressman and, of course, our mutual friend here. Exactly. By which time we could easily put in a good word for a cabinet position. I don't know. Interior. Maybe HUD. Shit. If Ben Carson can do it. So, what do you say, Rick, my boy? Fuck you, Rashad. Look, I thought it would be a good idea to have Derek on hand to help me field any QCB questions that might come up. Right? <laughs> here you go again. James, when are you gonna realize that no one gives a fuck about your Queen's Child project? Okay, so we're not on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Not least because all you do is think about you. If that's not the kettle calling the pot back, hey. why don't you tell me how you really feel, Council? How much juice do you really think your little community project will give my campaign statewide? Here you go. Do you think those crackers up in Saratoga Springs give a flying fuck about the plight of some poor broke hood niggas in the inner city? They think that the menopausal queen of the PTA, Lorette Walsh, is gonna save them? That bitch is clueless. She can't even use her iPhone without the help of her assistant. No, no. Yes. Nigga, what? Just think of it as a short-term loan, okay? A 24-hour loan. I'll have the money right back to you. No one will ever know it was gone. You want my campaign to loan you $1 million. Why do you need that kind of money? Actually, I need... Two million, but I'm only asking for half because I know you moving around that many zeros, it raises some questions. Now, Councilman, I don't have a Let me be as clear as I can with you, James. Fuck your time. I ain't giving you a dime of my money, nigga. 
The accountants are gonna review everything before my fundraiser. And if every single dollar, I'm talking every red cent, ain't back by then. It will be back by then. You have my word. You know I used to be New York's finest. Yeah, I know. You were this badass cop. Your point? I ain't your bitch. Hmm. I remember that. Make the call. Time's up. I need that money back in the campaign's account now. It's coming, Richard, okay? No, no, no. I don't want to hit that shit, James. You assured me repayment, full repayment, within 24 hours. So get on the phone, make some calls, do whatever you got to do. Lie if you must, but run me my money back ASAP. Because without it, that alleged recording of yours is fucking worthless. Since I won't have a goddamn campaign to run at all. I want my money, James. Mrs. St. Patrick, lovely surprise. I need to speak to my husband alone. Of course, I was just leaving. James? You know, Tasha, I'm beginning to understand why you wanted to leave him. Get the fuck out of my face, Richard. Huh. Always nice to see you too, good sister. You think you're gonna get out here alive? Even if you do, how far you think you're gonna make it? <laughs> Drop the gun now! I'm not gonna say it twice, Alphonse. Councilman. Hell of an evening, huh? Oh, man, it was such a night. I want to thank you for it. Sure. You're the cat I saw on the block, right? What's up, man? I'd like for you to meet Alphonse. He's our new community liaison. And we got to make sure that he's kept whole. What's this about, Rashad? Listen. I did you a huge favor making sure you got more of Stern's cut. Now it's time for you to reciprocate. Make that happen. Now you get us kicking back to some two-bit hood from Queens. You got me up in here turning my daughter's funeral into a press conference? James, Raina is gone. As hard as it is to face this. No, 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 no. You have no idea how hard this is to face. I don't, but it's reality. And this is an opportunity in a wake of tragedy. You want to help your community? Be the symbol we need you to be? And you got to use that agony to make change, brother. Look, Rashad, with all due respect, I know we're in a church, but I don't give a fuck about that today. You will tomorrow. And all the tomorrows after that. The daughters of innocent men sleep safely in their beds, James. I don't know what happened to Raina or why, but if it has something to do with your past, it needs to stay there. What you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. Look, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna let Mastodon do Raina's service. I'm gonna stand up there with you as your brother, and you're gonna let the police handle everything else. You understand? Are we clear? We are clear. I'll cut the ribbon, you throw your hat in the ring, and no one knows you're an embezzling son of a bitch. Oh, come on, brother. I have far worse things I can be. You should know. What's going on? We're hearing from some of our students and faculty that they feel unsafe with Tariq on campus. Unsafe? I haven't been found guilty of anything. That is not the same thing as innocent. No, is it? Over a thousand alumni are calling for your removal from campus. May I interject here? By all means. Cut the shit, Dean. You have a duty to protect your students, especially a young black man in today's climate of overzealous law enforcement. Now, our justice system doesn't find people innocent, and you know that. The way I see it, either you find this young man housing, or at my next campaign rally, I'll be sure to tell my thousands of supporters how Stansfield mistreats his young black man. 
Oh yeah. That's kind of role model I am. <clears throat> I'll see what I can do. Please. But one more mishap, and my hands will be tied as it relates to you, Mr. St. Patrick. Wow, it's almost like you care. Hate when people act like black lives matter until it matters. So let me guess, I now owe you since you don't do shit for free, right? <laughs> you know me so well, young brother. This is the first day of my internship. I'm ranking in bank for Tate, okay? Wait, what? You're the new intern? I was supposed to be Tate's new intern. <laughs> Um, Is he here? Um, I, I, I think he's on a call. I Tariq! <laughs> my young brother. Unexpected turn of events. So you gave away my internship? Uh, excuse me, no one gave me anything. Think of it as a redirection. Listen, I ain't even gonna hold you. Your black ass is still hot as fuck out here in these streets, and it's not a good look for my team. You know, I tried to work the wrongfully accused angle to boost both of our images, but it's just not gonna bring in the kind of contributions Team Tate needs right now. So you throw me under the bus for some fucking campaign dollars? You're goddamn right. It's for a bigger cause. So what about the course credit I was supposed to get? You're St. Patrick. You'll figure it out. Here, take a hat. The fact that he's actually giving you the time of day means that he wants something from you. Yeah, but what the fuck could I offer to a billionaire? Figure that shit out. I guarantee you it's something. The game is to be so not told, young brother. And with that, <clears throat> I'm gonna send you my uh, IG. Go ahead, click the link, and donate a little something, something to the Tate campaign, Mr. Kingpin. Yeah, I really wish I could, but I don't have it to give right now. Oh, oh don't worry about it. I'll just uh, make sure that I make that meeting with my new friend, Blanca Rodriguez. Hold the fuck on. What business do you have with the feds? After I lied on a stand to save your black ass? She's been pressuring me to help resolve her case. What case? I wish I knew. I would love to tell you, but I just don't have it right you now. You know what? I fucking donate, okay? Fine. Weekly donations, five bands. Send it in Bitcoin to my private account. Whatever. Tell me. She's investigating the murder of Adante Spears. You know anything about that? Never heard him. You heard of Bitcoin. Send that bread, my nigga. And the Tate campaign appreciates your support. I'm gonna need something in exchange. Uh, uh, you, you got my watch. I mean, it was a gift. First of all, how dare you? Second of all, that shit is trash as fuck. No. No. Thanks for the drink. Get your watch game up. It was a gift. Nigga, are you being followed? Shit, I can't be seen with your shady ass. Look, I'm already down on the polls. You on your own, Tariq. Listen, I got something that can help your campaign get you back up in the numbers. Tick tock. Clock's ticking, nigga. What? So them green cards just pay me for boosting your numbers. Yeah, yeah, the boost helped. But the raid on the Russians didn't put me over AVH. Sounds like a you problem. Not if my continued association with you puts my campaign at risk. Yeah. So I'm gonna need a bigger bite of the apple, my young brother. What do you mean? I'm giving you five bands a week. Come on. Yet you're still fucking holding out on me, Tariq. Come on, man. Look, man, the Westerns want to put me on a payroll. And I need to know what I'm working with before I can agree to anything. Do you understand what I'm dealing with? Yeah. Okay, well, if you know something, then fucking tell me. Look, trust me. What's happening, nigga? <clears throat> or shall I say congratulations, Congressman? Ah, Davis, I didn't realize that you were a supporter. I am not. But I have a message for you. Shall we? Thank you for going out to those cold things. Tariq and it was you who burned the Midwestern holdings. You've got a bullet coming your way. You sure you want to threaten me, my nigga? Because after tonight, I can have your ass chasing after fucking ambulances in Trenton. Now who's threatening who? There's something you can do that might earn you some grace. Get the charges against Diana Tejada dropped. And make sure they back off me as well. <laughs> Look at your ass. Mm -mm. But you know, I'm always open to helping friends in need. Particularly when they donate large sums of money to my campaign. <laughs> of course. 
Consider it done. You look great, Governor. <laughs> That's certainly the goal. That's for you. It's a big day, James. Absolutely. Uh, media will be here shortly, and we have just a couple things to clear up before then. Did you kill Angela Valdez? Come on, Rashad, really? It's not an unfair question. You see, this press conference officially launches my campaign, and you, my good brother, have stirred up enough controversy for three presidential runs. Angela Valdez was the love of my life, Rashad. Of course I didn't kill her. You know who did? No. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. I appreciate that. But if your ship is going down, I ain't going down with it. You see, I've been holed up alone in my office, working on a speech for the past 18 hours, and nothing, and I mean ain't a motherfucking thing gonna detract from it today. You understand? Your success is my success, Rashad. We're on the same page. Where were you last night for real, James? It doesn't matter. It most definitely matters. James, you're just not connecting the dots. Don't drag me down in your shit. You have nothing to worry. What are we doing here at my office? Councilman Tate, you want to tell me where the fuck you in my chair? I needed to remind you who you're dealing with, my brother. <laughs> I knew I couldn't trust that you wouldn't do something stupid. And here you are, proving me right. You know, James, whatever you were doing out there, you're lucky these men are loyal to me, or your ass would be dead. We're in jail. I'm running for governor, man. And I refuse to let you fuck that up. So yeah, I had some of my men bring you to me, James, to make it crystal clear that this shit stops now. I had Derek do deep background checks on all of my campaign contributors. That's right. He knows a lot about you, James. And don't think for a moment he won't deploy every weapon he has Now, do you have any thoughts on how we can keep Derek's bitch-ass mouth quiet? Maybe. Do you have any friends on the admissions board at Callister Prep? <laughs> My nigga. Cause I'm late. Did you and that mutt Derek set that up at the debate to do this to me? You gave Derek all the motivation he needed through your actions, and he's no longer working with the Queen's Child Project. As of 10 minutes ago, there is no Queen's Child Project. The city is revoking all permits to the project site. It's over, James. You fuck me, I return the favor. Now get the fuck out of here. Listen, she's got to come to an end. Rashad, it's not the right time to step to me, okay? I'm here so we can finish this once and for all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't fucking give me orders. I ain't gonna even hold you up. We can put the cars on the table right here, right now. No bullshit. No bullshit. I know who you are, James. I know you set up that robbery here at the club where I found myself having to kill a man. Alphonse, yeah. And I know that you're a fucking dope dealer who don't need the kind of heat that I can put on you. Is that a threat? Finally face the truth about who you are, James. I should have called you Ghost. Who the fuck is Ghost? I was in denial for a long time, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. You see, whatever assistance you brought to my campaign just ain't been worth the, the cost. So you and me are no longer. You understand? We're done. Or what? Or I go to the press and tell them about your past. If I were this man, you seem to think I am. What's to stop me from killing you right here, right now? Because if a man like you was going to kill a man like me, 
you'd have just done it. But the truth of the matter is, you know I'm too high profile to fuck with. You ain't gonna do shit, boy. <laughs> I don't know what you heard about me. And quite frankly, I don't give two fucks. But whatever person is in your fucking ear, they got it wrong. I don't make threats. If I had any intention of killing you, Rashad, you would never see it coming. You would simply, I don't know, disappear like a ghost. Lucky for you, I ain't the nigga I used to be. Get the fuck out of my place of business. Hello? Crew. Yeah, this crew? It's me. Yeah. I got a mess I need cleaned up. When? Today. Today? I'm all the way down to D.C. Nigga, I don't give a fuck where you at. Bring your country ass up to New York and do this damn job. All right. Local entrepreneur James St. Patrick has left the Tate campaign. In a stunning turn of events, sources say that St. Patrick will soon be announced as Tate rival Lorette Walsh's running mate. Motherfuck! Rashad, I'm sorry, E. You, you didn't hear that, okay, buddy? Except I totally did. The race for New York State Governor. Sleep on it. Maybe you'll feel differently in the morning. Feel differently about what? About giving the Walsh St. Patrick ticket your formal endorsement. Did I say that uh, my answer would be no? Uh, my bad. I mean, hell fucking no. Why would I do that? Rashad, there's no way that you can win. You are literally a one-man band at this point. And why do you need my endorsement so badly? Optics. I'll always be remembered as a man who stood by his principles, Lorette. You, on the other hand, well, you'll always be a white woman with double-digit unfavorables among black and brown voters. That's why you're here. You've been pandering for the black vote so damn long, you don't know how to stop. You know, you're right. But now I've got James St. Patrick for that. Goodbye, Rashad. What the fuck, Rashad? I mean, seriously, what the actual fuck? Hi, Ramona. Come on in. Fuck you! You told a reporter that I was sleeping with James? Weren't you? No. And if you didn't know that, then you should have kept your goddamn mouth shut! You know, I wish I could tell you that the truth will set you free, Ramona, but we both know that it won't. Everywhere you go, every job interview you take, you're gonna be asked about fucking a murder drug dealer for the rest of your career. As a matter of fact, I say your future in politics is deader than James A. Ramona. <laughs> Hi. Jesus. Hi, the streets are seeing international guap kill scene. Supposedly it's a get back kill for all the bodies that drive from GTG. He's dead now. The streets are saying this, huh? Yeah. You know, wrapping up the murder investigation of New York's top NBA bound college student is exactly what they need for press right now. I'm saying Zeke is my generation's lend bias. Mm. All right. I appreciate that. I uh, pass the information along. Let me get up out of here. I'm running late. Rashad, you played your best hand and you lost. Al Gore has a better chance of winning New York than you do. So just bow out gracefully while you still have a shred of dignity. Fuck all y'all.